Matthew 10 verses 17 to 22, Jesus prepares his disciples for the challenges they will face in spreading the gospel. He warns of persecution, a stark reality for those proclaiming his message. The disciples are not promised an easy path. They are called to embrace a mission that leads to hardship and hostility. Persecution is not merely a historical reality, but an ongoing experience for many believers. The call to bear witness before authorities resonates with those who, even today, face trials for their faith. The courage displayed by early disciples and contemporary martyrs challenges us to examine the depth of our commitment to Christ. Yet, within this forewarning of persecution, Jesus embeds a profound promise. When they deliver you over, do not be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you in that hour. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. The disciples are assured that they will be granted the words and wisdom needed to testify for Christ. This promise echoes the larger theme of dependence on God. In the crucible of persecution, the disciples are called not to rely on their own eloquence or defense, but to trust in the guiding and empowering presence of the Holy Spirit. The assurance that the Spirit of the Father will speak through them is a testament to the divine partnership that undergirds the mission of the disciples. As we reflect, we are prompted to examine our own dependence on God in moments of challenge. How often do we rely on our own strength and wisdom rather than surrendering to the guidance of the Holy Spirit? The call to endure persecution is inseparable from the call to trust fully in God's provision and guidance. In the face of hatred and opposition, the disciples' endurance becomes a testimony to the transformative power of Christ's name. It is a living witness that transcends the immediate challenges and points to the ultimate salvation that awaits those who remain steadfast in their faith. Heavenly Father, in the shadow of Jesus' words in Matthew 10 verses 17 to 22, we come before you with hearts open to the reality of persecution that may accompany our journey of faith. Lord, as we reflect on these verses, we acknowledge the sobering truth that following Christ may lead us to face challenges and hostility. Yet, in the midst of this forewarning, we find a wellspring of encouragement and a call to endure for the sake of the gospel. Jesus, our Savior, we recognize the relevance of your words to the disciples in our own lives. In a world that may at times be hostile to the message of Christ, grant us the courage to stand firm in our faith. As we navigate the challenges that may come, may we, like the early disciples, embrace the call to bear witness before authorities and remain steadfast in our commitment to you. The warning of persecution is not meant to instill fear, but to prepare us for the reality of discipleship. Lord, help us to approach these challenges with a spirit of resilience and reliance on your guidance. As we contemplate the possibility of facing opposition for your name's sake, may we be reminded that your spirit will speak through us in those moments. Grant us the humility to depend fully on your wisdom and guidance, trusting that it is not us but the spirit of our Father who speaks through us. Father, we are mindful of our brothers and sisters around the world who endure persecution for their faith. Strengthen them in their trials and may their endurance become a powerful testimony to your grace and the transformative power of Christ's name. As we stand in solidarity with the persecuted church, may their courage inspire us to remain faithful in the face of challenges. In moments of persecution, grant us the discernment to recognize the work of your Spirit guiding us. May our response be one of steadfast faith, anchored in the promise that the one who endures to the end will be saved. Lord, cultivate in us a spirit of endurance that goes beyond passive acceptance to active perseverance in our commitment to follow you. We pray for the persecuted church that your grace may sustain them in their trials. May they experience the comforting presence of your spirit and find solace in the promise of ultimate salvation. Lord, let their endurance become a shining light that pierces the darkness of hostility, testifying to the resilience of faith in Christ. As we meditate on Matthew 10 verses 17 to 22, may these words shape our understanding of discipleship. 
Teach us to endure with unwavering commitment, trusting in your promises even when faced with opposition. In moments of trial, may our endurance become a living witness to the transformative power of Christ's name and a testimony to the enduring nature of faith. In the name of Jesus, who endured the cross for our salvation, we offer this prayer. Amen.